Hi there, in this video I would like to show you this uh, hair geonode setup that I created uh, for the hairs to hide underneath the hat, a cap or whatever. <clears throat> I actually needed it for the site project I'm currently working on. It's very simple, uh, you can see the settings for it over here in the modifier tab. Uh, here is this as an asset. It will be available for download for free. Uh, the link is in the description of this video. And how it works. Uh, so the uh, steps for setting it up is to pick the surface mesh and the press collider. And you can see that actually it's not this hut, but the collider mesh is underneath. It's just, uh, it's just uh, parented to this hut object. And if I go into edit mode, can see it affect the hair in real time. And how it works is it actually snaps the hair mesh uh, in the proximity of this collider mesh to the uh, head. Uh, and some of the settings are the press offset. Uh, then there is the crow influence. And then there is the smoothness of it. And then there is this nice, nice effect of uh, puff uh, that is happening at the very edge of this collision. And then there is the blur for it as well. And then there are settings for the uh, collision rays. And actually, I think I saw a glitch over here. Yeah, you can see some weird behavior over here um, that we can uh, fix just by changing the collision rays direction from surface to the collider. And you can see it's gone. Yeah, that's a bit much. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, yeah, then there, there are those last settings, which is the rays uh, length. Uh, so let's see. If I, for example, set the ray outer length to zero, you can see that all the hairs that were underneath are not affected by it which might be actually not that bad. And uh, yeah, that's interesting actually. And then there is this ray uh, inner length. Yeah, so those are the values that you most probably will need to tweak if you uh, have some unwanted behavior of your hairs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, how it works. If you're into geonodes, I can actually show you the setup for it. It's very simple. There is basically not that much trickery over here. Uh, for those rays, uh, for the direction, I am sampling the uh, surface or the press collider that you are cho choosing over here. And then, um, yeah, how it works, it just uh, shoots a ray with this ray cast and checks for each hair if it is in the proximity of this collider mesh. There is actually one trickery that I actually uh, liked. I was uh, pretty happy when I found out how it works. So here you can see that there is this uh, there is this boolean for the colli collision hit. And uh, how this grow influence works is that I can actually uh, increase it. Let me do it over here with the with the blur attribute, which is not actually that uh, intuitive that you can grow the selection just with the blur attribute. But yeah, that's how it works. So if you are into geometry nodes, that might be actually something interesting for you. And that's it for this tool. Uh, thank you for watching and have fun. Thank you.